For my next DIY project, we have yet another cigar box uh, string instrument or homemade string instrument, I guess. Um, this particular one, as you can kind of see, is a four string fretless. I'll talk a little bit about it uh, here in a second. But uh, you know, about after like my second or third uh, homemade string instrument, I started keeping a builder's log. So I figured I'd forget about all these and I also started they have they all have tags inside with their their serial number um, and I realized by looking at that I had done you know one string two string fretted two string fretless uh, three string fretted three string fretless and a four string fretted um, I had never done a four string fretless so I just decided then and there that I was gonna do it so I went out to the garage and I just everything that is in this guitar every single part I had on hand. I didn't have to buy anything. It was all just crap I had in the garage. So let's take a look here. So it has um, an Arturo Fuente box. Let me turn it over here. Uh, it has a Seymour Duncan mini humbucker that I had on hand. Um, that's a Gibson knob there. It's a CTS pod underneath there. I know you can't see it. The jack is up here. And the reason I did that is because I really wanted to put the jack down here, but I thought it was gonna conflict with the pot. So um, I ended up putting the jack up high there. The bridge is just a, a standard wood bridge. Um, I cut a couple sound holes there. Uh, one other thing I realized as I started making this, all the hardware I had was black, if you see this. The only thing that's not is the nut on the jack. But uh, that's the ground screw there, and I had a black screw for that. Um, and then if you flip it around the other way, the, the headstock tuners, the uh, nut there, everything uh, is black. So all the hardware ended up being black, uh, which kind of ended up working out nice. The fretboard there, or the fingerboard, is one of those CB Giddy acrylics uh, that you can see there. So it ended up looking really nice. I had that on hand. I bought it a while back and then ended up not using it, so it was kind of sitting there. Um, silly me, I thought it was a 23-inch scale, so I built this guitar for a 23-inch scale. Then I went and put the fretboard on and realized the fretboard is actually a 25-inch scale, so that's why you see the bridge is so close to the tailpiece there. I didn't quite give enough uh, as much room as I probably would have, but you know what? It sounds great as is and everything, so I'm not going to... Not gonna change anything, it worked out really nice. Um, but uh, anyway, I did something different on this build. Normally I have uh, run braces across the body here and here and then bolted the neck or screwed the neck to those braces or glued it or whatever. This time I only put braces in the four corners and that's, you can see these screws here that indicate uh, and there's braces in the four corners. And then what I did is I cut, uh, I, I doubled the neck here underneath the, um, the main part of the neck here, there's a second board just for the length of the body. And I cut it very close, so it actually was hard to get in there. I really had to work it in and get it down in there, so it fits very tightly. Um, and then what I did is after I set the neck, since that was very solid, I just put a screw uh, at both ends like that. Hopefully you can see, yeah, there you go, you can see that one. Um, so I put a screw at both ends of the body to hold it. Um, and the screws actually happen to be black, so so it actually is kind of a new design, dif different than I had done on the rest of my builds. But it, the whole thing came out really nice. This pickup is crazy. It sounds amazing. We'll do a sound sample in a second. But um, what I did then is I just took a pack of standard six-string guitar, electric guitar strings, and I used the E, A, D, and G off of those. And uh, I tuned it uh, E, A or excuse me, E, B, E, G sharp. So very similar tuning to what it would actually have, especially with having a 25 inch scale. Um, came out really well, the whole build, everything. This box, actually the acoustic volume of it is is very, it's pretty loud. Um, so this box has a good volume, everything. So um, I guess let's do a sound sample of this thing. All right, so I got my little uh, cigar box amp that I built here as a previous DIY project. And you can see there's nothing between it, just a, just the cable, that's it. And this thing, even with just nothing other than this little cheap amp, it sounds great.